Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to Morgan Mirror Studios and episode slash part three of this series. Today we are drawing this far my personal favorite special run, the Appaloosa. Sorry, not sorry. I quite like this guy an awful lot. He is so pretty. Even though I'm not a big fan of the glossy models, um, his coat is absolutely breathtaking in gloss and I love the mold because it's a dressage mold and I do dressage and it's a very pretty model overall. So please enjoy part three of my downward spiral. And we are back to me being unhappy with my drawing skills in... And here we go again with twirling my pencil, constantly. We're still going. Oh wait, there we go. Back to drawing. We're annihilating the leg. Kill it. Kill it. That's much better. It's not. We're annihilating that leg completely and we're adding the elbow. I had to get up at one point and go look at Simon, my little jumping pony. For reference, since I wasn't sure if I got the elbow on the leg right. I didn't. We're killing it. Again. And here the sketch is pretty much done and I'm just cleaning up fingerprints and lightening it a little bit and fixing the neck and whatnot. And also adding some muscle details, get some muscles in the shoulder in, and that tendon that sticks out of the cannon bone. And now we're violently beating the sketch with the eraser like it's a beauty blender. Here we're starting to add some shading on the muzzle and adding those little pink Appaloosa spots that this guy has on his nose. They're so cute.
And here his muzzle is pretty much done and I will start moving into more details and shading around the face and getting some darker areas around the eye in and showing off some of that muscle detailing except making sure to not make it too dark which is where I went wrong during this but it's okay I will fix it. Here I start to get some darker areas around in the eye on there and erasing some spots in the graphite where he has those little bitty pink spots around his eyes. Here I'm starting in on his Appaloosa spots, making sure to very carefully follow the photo that I have for a reference to make sure I get them all in the right shape and in the right spot. And I did end up adding just a few more just for looks to make it look a little more realistic on paper. And I had to add some in the center of his face since there's only a side profile in the photo that Briar offered for us. And since obviously I don't have the in-hand model, I kind of just had to get a little bit creative and just put some in the center of his face wherever I felt like they should go. So yay art. I had to lighten up some of the smaller, more flea bite type Appaloosa spots around the bigger spots just for looks, since in the photos he is a chest more of a chestnut Appaloosa. And now I'm starting in some of the shading around his neck and things before I put the rest of the Appaloosa spots down, making sure to just darken the areas that I want to be darker before I smear it and get rid of these weird little zigzaggy scribble lines that I've got going on. And here I'm starting to add some hair by hair detail around the neck, making sure it's nice and dark in the darker areas and lighter in the lighter areas. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for when I start adding the Appaloosa spots to the neck. 
of these. I had to get just a little bit more creative with these than I were on the face since they were less on his neck and I felt like it just looked weird with like four Appaloosa spots in total. So I made sure to add a few smaller ones here and there, but making sure that they're in, I don't know what the word would be for this, a logical spot for poor word usage on my part. And now I'm starting in on that big ol' Appaloosa blob that he has on his inner elbow and on his leg. It also starts at his hoof and comes up his leg, almost like he had paint splashed onto him. It's a really cool marking. I love how they did it. Now I'm starting on the shading around the shoulder before I add the Appaloosa spots and the hair by hair detail, making sure to get it all in the right spot. Now I'm starting in on the Appaloosa spot around the shoulder, these little, almost, the Appaloosa spots kind of look like a little baked beans, is that just me? Well that one kind of just looks like a blob. Now that is a baked bean if I've ever seen one before.
Now I'm going into the final details phase, adding some more little Appaloosa freckles around some of the bigger spots. And I'm going to apologize in advance. I forgot to record me drawing the mane, so I'm so sorry about that. And with the hoof pretty much done, after I add one more little stripe and some shading at the bottom, this guy is done! I hope you love him just as much as I do. I think this is one of my best drawings yet, and I'm super proud of it. Thank you so much for watching.